Corona. What it took and whether it gave us anything back? We all must have faced some difficulties, bad time, health issues, small or big problems in our life. These problems must have given us some pain or loss. And slowly as time passed, it's all went away. After some point of time, if we look back, then we realize that we gain lot much from that difficult phase of our life. It might have changed our life track to better one. So there may be a learning in any problems being faced by us. But is it true for Corona? We know that Corona created a havoc in life of almost all citizens in this entire world. It took so much from us, but whether it gave us anything back? Let's look at it. First of all, let's see what are the problems we are facing due to Corona. People of all countries are very badly affected. Lacks of people died, thousands are still in hospital and there is danger looming on all of us. Secondly, world economy is in complete bad shape. Businesses are trying to recover, lot many people lost their jobs, many people does not have savings. Third is, worst affected are people who are laborers, migrant people who came to work in big cities, no jobs, no incomes, they are going back to their native places. Entertainment and enjoyment are part of our life. We didn't go for shopping, malls, movies, hotels, social functions in these months. It seems to be lost to many. Religious places are closed. Lastly, holiday in schools and colleges. Educationists are worried. Children may be happy due to this. This is a list of things we lost. Now let's look at what are we getting in return. Are we really getting anything back from Corona? After a long time, we are spending really good time with our family, playing games, remembering old friends, talking to them, doing things which we did not do because of time and work pressure, exercise, yoga, paintings and much more. In above list, we saw loss of entertainment as one item. But if we seriously think, is it really a loss? In fact, we realize that we can live without such things in our life. Less expenses, more savings, better health and a good life. Schools are closed and it gave huge boost to e-learning. Good content from many parts of the world is reaching to millions in every corner of the world. It is less expensive too. Nature is now clean and pure. Pollution is very less. The most important thing is Corona helped us in meeting ourselves. It helped in introducing us to our own identity. Those who are doing meditation or sitting quiet and thinking, they must have realized this. What is right? What is wrong? We are able to decide it in much better way. Some people feel meditation is for people above 50 to 60 years of age. In fact, it should be compulsory for children above 12 years too. To sum up, we need to realize that whatever we do excesses in our life, crossing boundaries, ignoring what is right and wrong, then in such circumstances, nature has its own way of teaching us a lesson. In name of too much materialism, economics, GDP, stock market, fashion, status, ego, our food and other habits, all these resulted in so much pain to other humans. Billions of animals and birds are being slaughtered, huge pollution and so many other things. We never realize that we have to have some principles. It's time to think what we will leave for our next generation. Just material wealth? Is that enough? Let's think and take corrective actions. Lastly, stay healthy, stay positive. This shall too pass. Let's pray very soon this darkness comes to an end. There will be a better tomorrow, more peace for all living beings. Thank you.